uh, defensive end getting all the way up to the ninth. Tonight, uh, Spurs just seem to have an answer. Um, obviously, you guys are shorthanded. We've talked about that enough. But plus 39 from three, was it more of their execution or were you guys struggling defensively? Kind of they made some tough shots, you know. Um, 11 for 11. Yeah, Bates be up. You know, <laughs> we trying to figure it out. You know, we got guys in out of lineup trying to figure out the best way to be able to compete. Um, and that's all you can do. Now that you're getting to know THT a little bit more, I'm sure, um, you know, he struggled his first night back against Phoenix going one for 13, coming out of the health and safety protocols. Do you like the way that he kind of, I mean, he's 21 years old, came out tonight, you know, attacking, maybe the numbers aren't great, but he's kind of asked to do a lot at that age. Yeah, man, he's going to be fine. Uh, he's a great talent. He will figure it out, get his win back. Uh, you know, he will be fine. I'm not worried about THC at all. Hey, Russ, how have you seen LeBron manage the group through the ups and downs of the season? You see, what is it? How manage what? The, manage the group. Oh, I can't hear you. The growth? No, no. How have you seen LeBron manage the group through the ups and downs of the season? Oh, um, you know, he's he's a professional. Um, one of the best in the world. Um, and he understands what, when he's healthy, how he can play. Obviously, he was battling through some stuff earlier on in the season. Um, but when he's healthy and at, a, at full strength, it's difficult for anybody to stop him in, in the world. And he understands that. And, um, you know, recently, uh, he's been doing a great job of just – being steady, being consistent, and playing good basketball. Russ, uh, you know, this Christmas Day game, when it was announced with the Nets, um, a lot of star power, a lot of storylines. With the state of both these rosters right now, you guys with a lot of guys in protocols, the Nets with a lot of guys in protocols, does that diminish um, just how you feel about the matchup or, or, you know, playing on Christmas in general? Um, no. Um, playing on Christmas is a, it's, it's not a – it's an honor. It's a blessing. You know, you get a chance to be able to um, spend time with your family, which is most important, um, and then go do something you love to do, um, and that's play basketball. So regardless of who we are playing, um, but having an opportunity to be able to play on Christmas is a, you know, it's a blessing and honor to be able to do so. Russ, um, you guys have lost 17 times this year. I think we've heard you say, you know, don't panic. Yep. Probably after each of them, but Tonight, when when you and LeBron play the way that you guys do tonight, especially offensively, and you know you still lose by twenty eight as a team, um, how can how can how can you make this work over through this stretch with guys in and out with stuff like that and, and add wins? Figure it out. That's it. Nothing else you can do. Figure it out. Find ways. Get get guys back in shape. Dwight, Taylor. No. You know, Trev was in for a little bit, now he's out. So, gotta just figure it out. That's it. Like I said, I don't, I don't panic. And we got a bunch of guys in our locker room that don't quit, never give in to, um, you know, what's happening. Uh, but that's it. It's NBA. Regardless if you lose about two or twenty-eight, it's one loss. Um, you gotta turn the page. Let me figure out a way to better win the game, win a ball game. That's it. Russ, just considering the fact that this team is 16 and 17, obviously, you know, wins matter, right, in terms of getting where you want to go, but you're also in a position where you guys can't be at your best because of guys not being in and out. Um, is this a situation where you are in a position where you feel like you can just ride it out, or is there more of a sense of an urgency on a night-to-night -night basis, even though, like you've said, you don't have, you know, a full um. You got to write it out. There's no need to panic now. Um, a lot of games left. We've got 50 or so games left or whatever. Um, but you're right. We do need to win games. But um, when we have an opportunity to be able to do so, I know guys are laying online. We're not, it's not like guys are not playing hard or not, you know, leave it on the floor. Um, it's just some nights. It's um, how, how, how to how it go. The season is full of ups and downs, man. I, I mentioned this earlier in the year, like, there's going to be seasons. The season will never be like this. It's never going to be like a smooth walk and cruise. It's going to be a drop. It's going to be you may trip and fall, you know. But it's a lot of things, but you may get a bruise. Um, now how you get up and how you keep moving this is going to be important. Um, I think the important part of now is how can we learn through 
the muck and lessons of how can we become a better team. Um, either we can pull closer or pull further apart. Um, and I think guys in the locker room know that we need to pull together, regardless of who we have, for how long, who's on the roster, no matter what. Uh, we got to stay with each other and uh, stick to it. Russ, real quick, sorry. As, as you kind of kind of charted the season, right, like the downs and the ups. Yeah. Have you guys experienced enough of the ups to 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 stomach um, some of these downs? Man, it's NBA season. Um, I think that we're fine. Um, we, if you say four games ago, we 16 to 13, we fourth in the West. I, I didn't hear none of these questions. So we, we there's, there's some ups, there's some ups. So let's just be honest and be clear about what's actually happened. We lose five guys to safety, health and safety protocols. Even myself going in for a day, miss a flight. Um, and then, you know, we got guys coming in off 10 days, don't know our system, got guys coming in, you know, that hasn't been accustomed to what we've been doing. We, we find a rhythm, AD gets hurt. There's a lot of things that's happened within the past week and a half. So, yes, I would say we, we had some ups where we, we felt confident how we were moving and moving direction. Our defense was great. We was moving in a good direction defensively, and I felt great about it. So that's why I don't panic, um, and that's why I'm optimistic about our team. Yep. Yeah. Thank you.